What's up guys, Root from NoShow.com here today and we're looking at some more Python. I'm going to get idle fired up and we can get right to programming. I'm going to create a new window first of all. Control N to get that started. Uh, we'll put Python shell in the center today. And then we'll save this as something different. I'm going to call mine outside. And now I'm going to get my shebang line started. Environment. Python. And I'm going to create a new class. We're going to call this class external. Just because I think that's a fancy name, you know? <laughs> Let's get a constructor going with the init keyword wrapped in two underscores, both the beginning and the end. We want the self keyword to be passed in as an argument. And what we'll do is we'll have this little thing print. Uh, hello. I am from outer space. But I come in peace. And you know, let's give it some tabs just to make it look... Just to make it look a little bit more elegant. And remember these escape sequences. The escape characters backslash n, backslash t, and that sort of thing. So, okay. Now we have our... Let's let's set something up. Let's get... Alien can be equal to... External. We run this. Hello, I'm from outer space, but I come in peace. So we've created an object here, but now we want to... I want to use this in a more broader scope, in a broader sense. So what we're going to talk about today is something called modules, or, or libraries, or it's, it's lots of external code that you can call, or at least retrieve the information from to bring it back to your own program. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. You could import some libraries or modules that allow you to have a bit more functionality. You can use the RE module that will give you access to regular expressions. You can use uh, GTK, which will give you access to uh, graphical user interface calls. You can use uh, URL lib to get information from the internet. You can use you can use uh, OS to get information from the operating system. And there's there is so much out there, especially when it comes to modules and like external things that you can import. And import is a keyword that we're going to be looking at today. There's so much you can import that there's so much you can do that you have to be able to like know the information. You have to know how this module works, how the things are set up, the language, the way that it works. <laughs> it really, I'm saying it a lot of times because it really that is the most crucial bit. You have to know how the module and that library is set up, so you know the calls, you know the syntax, you know the way it works, and that sort of thing. I, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm saying the things. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. Whatever. But yeah, let's try it out though. The keyword we're looking at is import, or import, obviously, and you can import and then the name of the module that you're importing. You can use OS, you can use Sys, you can use Pygame, you can use GTK, you can use RE, you can use, um, what am I thinking, URL lib, you can use subprocess. There's so much out there, but you'd have to have the knowledge and information of knowing that it exists. So in our case, we're going to do something a little interesting today. We're going to create from scratch our own module. And this is convenient too, because let's say you had some variables or some functions that you wanted to save. Maybe you created a function that you use a lot, and you want to keep track of that, except you don't want to have to bother rewriting it and rewriting it every time. So what you can do is you can import it to each program that you write. So let's get started. Let's create a new window. I can create a new script, and I'm going to call this control, and that's all. I'm just going to call it control.python. So, get my shebang line, USR bin, environment, python, and then I'm going to create a new class, one for this one, and I'll call this base, just for regular, that sort of thing, define init, so we have constructor, things that happen automatically, self as a keyword, obviously, yada, yada, yada. I'm, how many times have you guys done this? Tell me. Let me know. Hello there. And that's all I'll say. So let's say, uh, dog. Doug is our base, so we can run him, and he just says hello there. So that keeps it easy. Okay, so now there's Doug. So let's do something else. Let's let's import all the code that's inside this outside script. So what we'll do is we'll import outside, because outside itself is a module. All the information in the code that you've written here can be used externally, hence the class name external. That's why I wanted to hint at getting things from the outside, taking things in, and that sort of thing. So when you're importing outside, we have access to everything in inside. If we tried this from the shell, we could import outside, and then out from outside we have these things that we can do. We have the external class. So let's try it. We can set an alien in the control script to be from outside. We're going to use our dot selector, so we're getting things from this module. Then we can use the external class. We have access to it. 
So alien is an object or an instance of this external class that we've created in a different script or a different module. So when you run this, alien says, hey, I'm from outer space, but I come in peace. Except we're using him from a different script. So this is kind of interesting, though. Because we're able to take information from other files and other code. So... I want to talk about something different now though because you have this thing where some of usually one module or one program or one sort of script or the file will be set up for the main thing the the actual root of the program the thing that does everything that cr that makes the action happen like if you had th this external class let's say the, sorry this outside file and let's say outside was full of different classes they were all just able to Maybe external things, maybe something named um, fish. Maybe you just had lots of programs that would do stuff with animals or something. Say that. We had fish, we had dogs, and all these sort of other classes. But they don't really do anything, they're just defined, so they're easy to maintain. You know where they all are, they're in one specific file, and that sort of thing. So, yeah. You, or you would set this file, or the outside.python file, you would set that up for defining your classes and defining your functions, and control.python would be the one that actually makes things happen. So we, because we're importing outside, though, if we had things that, mo that would normally happen in outside.py, we, we could just do print, this is outside.python. We could run this. This is outside.python. But what happens if we were to run outside, and it happens automatically, though? We don't want that. So what we're going to do to avoid this is set up an external function like if and you have another interesting keyword here, if the name of this name, and then that's going to be wrapped in two underscores, is equal to underscore main, then this is where you would type your code. This is where you'd be able to type in, okay, print something and that sort of thing. Um, print hello there. there this is outside and now let's try this from the control let's type in if name is equal to main hello this is control so let's run let's see actually why is that commented what the what the what the heck so this, if we just run outside, we have all these class definitions and eventually we get to some action. We actually display something out on the screen. So if we run this, we can save that. It says, hello there, this is outside, but that's because we're running the outside program. If we switch back over to control, we're still importing outside, but outside isn't going to display that because it isn't the current running library. It's not main. Control is main. Control is the program that we're running. So control will say hello there. This is control, but we won't see, we won't see uh, hello there. This is outside. So if we run this, this is control. This is control. If we run outside, this is outside, and that's only happening because it's the main function. But when we're including it externally, we don't have to worry about that because we've added this declaration that we should only do these things and make these actions happen if this is the current script that we're running. So, there. That, I think that's all I want to cover today. That might be a little hard to think, think about and wrap your head around because we're working with two different files here. But remember, we are going to be looking at other external modules like OS or Sys or RE and that sort of thing because there's a lot to cover in the world of Python. It's kind of kind of crazy and kind of intimidating, I'll be honest. But, you know, we'll, we'll knock it down one by one. That's just what we do. So uh, thanks again, guys. It'd be cool if you could give me a maybe maybe leave a like. Don't leave a like. Just just click that little button with the thumb sticking up, you know. And uh, maybe leave a comment. That's what you should do. You should leave a comment and hit the like button. And uh, maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do. But uh, thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next tutorial.